Yeah, so the boys don't have school today. So that's why I went ahead and decided to go to Costco today. I also hung out with Richie today. And um, he's cool. He's a cool little kid. He's very inquisitive. Very, very, very questioning. Um, but we had a fun time. You know, he's very helpful too. Um, so... Do it again. <laughs> Just be careful. Yeah. Wow. Good job. Now I'm just headed up there towards the mountains. I don't know if you can tell to the right and the, up there, there's, looks like it's getting snow at this very moment. Um, yeah, wow, that's pretty crazy. And the clouds are pretty low to the mountain. I don't know if you can tell that either. Let's see if I can zoom in. Oh yeah, I can. See right there? Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> Anyhow, um, going to the jam tonight, I actually feel much better. Oh, and it is so precious. <laughs> so I've been running and helping these jams. I shouldn't say I run the jam because I really don't. I, but I do bring the vibe and I bring um, a level of extra energy that helps this jam. And so <laughs> I was informed that the boys are actually uh, making me a, like a surprise birthday party tonight, which I had no idea about. Um, until one of them was like, well, do you like chocolate cake or, or white cake? Because we're going to Costco for your birthday cake. And I was like, that is so sweet. So I chose white. Because I actually don't eat baked chocolate. I don't know if you guys know that about me. I just have never liked baked chocolate. I don't like brownies. I don't like chocolate cake. Um, I don't like chocolate cookies. Um, if... I, I do like chocolate, though, like um, milk chocolate. I don't really like dark chocolate. So it's funny because, like, according to my people, I'm not really into the coca. <laughs> I mean, I am, but I'm not. It's like it has to have some sweetness to it. Um, but I've just never been a chocolate fan for big chocolate, at least. So... of their business. 
today that I have to stop watching a lot of that because it just puts my head in a really bad negative mindset. So I don't want to watch anymore. Um, Because I jerked awake and I was like, oh my God, where's Ben? Even though I knew he was at his friend's house. (laughs) I just figured I had better um, check in with him. Like that was my first thought was I, I need to get bed. And then it was ironic that he was like, Mom, come get me. <laughs> and I was like, oh, God. So I don't remember coming this way. Oh, maybe I do. A lot of times um, when we take Ben, it's me and Donnie taking Ben. And so I'm not the one driving. So I think that's part of the problem. <laughs> um, it's right on the East Castle Road Drive. Oh, okay. There we go. I guess this is it. Yes, Castle Rock Drive. Oh, why does it say that? Okay, how am I supposed to get in there? Ah, okay. Um, I wonder if Ben has to come out. Southeast on East Tonk Verde Road toward North Placida Lydia. Then turn right onto Lake Vista Drive. Okay, there we go. I'm like, there. this is a gated community and this, this gate is totally locked. So I can't get it in there. That's wild. Okay, so it like wanted me to turn where I can't turn in. I always feel paranoid like it's me, like I can't follow simple instructions. <laughs> but here we go, okay. Uh, speaking of which, this is kind of great that you're on here with me because, um, okay, so let me tell you this really creepy story um, since watching the show, right? Um, I've been more aware of like my surroundings personally. Oh, it is a gated community. Yes. In a quarter mile, turn left onto East Castle Rock Drive. Oh man, hold on. Okay, so I finally got in. I had to figure out the freaking uh, code. This is a nice little area. Very cool, very cool. Tired. I sell a lot of stuff on Marketplace, remember? So a person who identified as a male, at least by the name, contacted me and wanted to buy something from me. And so we agreed to meet early at the IHOP, which is a public place. And then um, I had to cancel because I was really sick. So I went ahead and um, canceled that and then met him um, or agreed to meet him later on in the nighttime. And I was watching Charlie at that time. And so I thought, well, I'll take Charlie home and then I'll jump in the car and go take this uh, thing and sell it to him. And everything seemed fine. Um, and then when I got down to drop Charlie off, I realized that Donnie just got home. And so I, of course, hadn't seen Donnie all day. And so I asked him, would you go with me to take this to IHOP? And of course he was like, yeah, sure. And so we went, once I got there, I told this person, I actually am in a red pickup truck and here's the side of the parking lot that I'm parked on, la la la. Okay, so I sent him that message and he said, almost there. And we waited 45 minutes and I started sending him messages saying, I'm here. Are you almost here? Right onto North Creek Vista Drive. I need to go. And all of a sudden my messages were getting blocked. And I was like, I didn't do anything to get my messages blocked. And then I realized, I think that he saw that I was not alone. And so he drove away and then blocked our conversation. Which one is so rude. And two, um, how scary is that? One time as well, I went to pick up diapers and the guy wanted me to go to his house and I refused and said I wanted to um, go to um, Your destination is pick on the up way. stuff at... Um, the local circle K and he was kind of like 
just just meet me at my house and I was like no I'm gonna meet you at Circle K and that guy never showed up and I ironically had been with me so I think that all was really really sketchy so anyhow here is Ben <laughs> I'm gonna let you go talk to you soon bye-bye